Just hours after Robbie Anderson signs with the Carolina Panthers, Joe Douglas goes out and replaces him with the speedster, Brashad Perriman. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. And I am definitely jazzed up for this move. I have been talking about Brashad Perriman for a long time, ever since we did my F. Mary Kill series back in, what was that, January? I've been talking about him. I have been super hyped on him, and I'm very, very happy that this deal got done. Don't get me wrong, first option would have been to retain Robbie. We know how he plays in this offense. We know what we can kind of expect from him, and he probably would do better with a healthy Sam Darnold over a course of a 16-game season. But I am very, very excited for Brashad Perriman, and you guys need to be excited too. And I know you'll get you know a few people that are like, oh, he was a former first-round pick. Robbie was an undrafted free agent. This guy is, uh, you know, full of like upsetting stats and just did not perform well over the course of his career. He's been on, this is his fourth team in five years or whatever. I understand that. And I get that. I don't have a problem with that. You can argue that all you want. I'm still excited for Brashad Perriman. Brashad Perriman, he's 26 years old right now. He'll be 27 in September. He is six foot two. So he's one inch shorter than Robbie Anderson, 209 pounds. So I want to say he's about 20 pounds heavier. He ran a 4240. Robbie Anderson ran a 4-3-40. There was actually people at Brashad Perriman's pro day that had him clocked at 4-1-9. So this guy is lightning quick. He did have a little bit of injury history in 2015-16, a PCL, and I think it's an ACL injury. Uh, caused him to miss a little bit of time. But I think the Jets really, really made out well here. When you look at the contract that Perriman got, he got a one-year deal for $6 million guaranteed with incentives that could get him up to $8 million. Robbie Anderson signed with the Carolina Panthers Two years, $20 million, but $12 million was in that first year. So you're actually looking at Perriman for $6 million cheaper, potentially, than Robbie Anderson. At the very most, you're going to get him for, what is it, $4 million less than Robbie Anderson. So in a game where you're trying to manage your cap and do everything you can, the Jets got a player with the upside that I think is higher than what we've seen from Robbie for cheaper than whatever Robbie got. Now, look at what Perriman's scores were over the course of his last few years. He's, you know, he missed a little bit of time. He had PCL and ACL injury in 2015, 2016. He graded out as a 71.8 and a 72.8 the last two years. He was the 42nd wide receiver overall, according to Pro Football Focus last year. Robbie Anderson, graded out as a 68.6, was the 61st wide receiver, according to Pro Football Focus. The targets, incredible. One drop in 65 targets. Like I said, five games of graded over 70 in his last six three straight 100 yard games to end the 2019 season and it's just I, I think we did well here I think we really did well I, I subscribe to the over the cap premium service that's not a plug for them I mean I guess it is a plug for them but it's not I don't get paid for any of this um, over the cap valued Paramin at about a 5.5 million dollar worth of production based on what we saw from him. The Jets got him for six to eight million. That means you're kind of hoping that he's going to expand on what you saw the final five games of the season. So yes, he had 36 receptions, 645 yards, and six touchdowns over his 16 game season. But four of his final five games, he actually played over 80% of the snaps. His final four games, he played over 80%. But before that, it was like, I think his highest was maybe 73%. Everything else was in the 40s. So he actually got to play in more snaps by comparison, Robbie Anderson played 90% of the Jets' snaps. So when you look at Perriman's final five games, he had 25 receptions, 506 yards, and five touchdowns in that final five-game stretch. If you extrapolate that over a 16-game season, you're talking like 75 receptions, 1,600 yards, and 15 touchdowns. That is someone I would absolutely sign up for. Joe Douglas is gambling on you know, upside here. He's gambling on upside. Robbie Anderson, we've kind of seen sort of what we're going to get out of him. He's a, he's a slight frame. He jumps up and he'll get some contested balls. We saw the catch in the Steelers game that I keep referencing, but Perriman is a big body dude. He's stronger than Robbie. He's going to come down with the ball more frequently than Robbie. It's actually pretty cool. The Jets player or the, sorry, the Jets director of player personnel is Alexander. Oh, nope. Char, sorry. Chad Alexander. Uh, he actually was with the Ravens for the entire time Perriman was there, so I think he had a big say in bringing him into this organization. And personality-wise, you can't really get more different than how these guys have been. I, I'll pull up these two Instagram posts. You got one, Brashad Perriman saying, hey, now more than ever, we are one team. 
let's let's stay inside. Let's play. If you want to play for around the world, obviously with everything that's going on with this virus, Robbie Anderson by comparison, he's on a boat. Hashtag quarantine. Didn't even spell quarantine right. I don't know what's worse, <laughs> him not spelling quarantine right or him thinking that quarantining is being out on a boat, probably with other people, I would assume, because he's looking out the back of the boat there. Someone's got to be driving. I I like Brashad Perriman. I think we have a more mature wide receiver. I think we got him on a better contract. We got a faster, stronger wide receiver. There is a gamble. You never know what you could possibly get out of him. The high side is is there. You can see the the performance. You can see that when this guy is featured, he's going to do well. Now, those final four games, he did not have Godwin and he did not have Mike Evans on the field with him. So he was featured as the number one wide receiver. You got to remember the Jets are probably still going to draft a wide receiver probably in the second round. I said this before, tackle in the first round, wide receiver in the second round. That means you're talking Perriman might wind up being your third option. You have probably your second round wide receiver. You have Crowder, Bell, Herndon, Griffin, and Perriman. There's a lot of guys across this offense right now. None of them are necessarily stellar options, but I think they're all very good options across the board. You'd, across the entire offense, they should complement each other very well. Guys, let me know what you think of down below in the comments. Are you as jazzed up as I am about this signing? I can't wait to watch this guy play with Sam Darnold. I think a better offensive line, better receivers, better defense all around. I think this team is going to hit the ground running. We're not going to have the injuries we had last year. Bershaw Perriman, plus the $6 million savings that we're going to get, is going to go a lot further than just the Robbie Anderson signing. So guys, this is a very good move. I sign off on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!